Next up on our CBC Spring Sports Media Day is the Chagrin Falls baseball team head coach Mike Sweeney. Coach, welcome. Uh, obviously, uh, another uh, preseason for you in a, in a long career, but uh, heading into this year, how excited are you? Uh, I'm very excited for this year. Uh, you know, every year brings kind of new opportunities and, and new challenges and new excitement. So uh, this isn't any different, uh, but it's fun to have a lot of guys back from last year. And, you know, we finished the year very strong last year and uh, just missed out on getting to the regional last year. So uh, we're all excited to start the season. Whatever it is, your team seemed to be built for May because you always play really well at the end of the season. And I guess that's by design, right? You want to play your best baseball at that time. But what is it about your team that's always postseason ready? Uh, I just think, you know, we focus and we talk about this all the time. We focus on the little things that win or lose games. We focus a lot on pitching and defense. And we know if we pitch and play defense that we're always going to be in games. Um you know, we we just had a lot of conversations about how hard it is to beat high school teams that don't make mistakes. You know, and we try to just make routine plays, throw strikes. And when you play teams that don't make a lot of mistakes and throw strikes, um, it's hard to win. And it's hard. You know, those teams just don't uh, allow other teams to beat them. And, um, you know, we hope this year that we swing the bat a little bit. You know, we don't want to just do the other things and neglect the hitting. I mean, we hope that we have a lineup that's a little deeper than last year that um, hopefully can score some runs and help our pitchers out. When you look at this year's team, what's going to be a strength for you? What are you going to be able to rely on uh, to, to be there consistently each night? I, I think just the fact that we have a lot of guys that have been there and done that. I mean, we, sh we return eight or nine guys that, that have played a lot of baseball for us. Uh, we've, we've turned three guys that have pitched for us in meaningful situations. Um, and our, you know, we didn't always have everybody hitting or, or fielding or whatever last year, but um, everybody got a lot of opportunities and a lot of playing time. And I think that, you know, definitely is going to help us out this year that when we start the year, you know, we should be um, pretty confident in what we are doing. Pitching uh, both in baseball and softball at the high school level. If you have some some great pitching, you can go a long way. Talk a little bit about your staff. Uh, yeah, we have um, obviously one on here and Will Graham that you know he he dominated last year. I mean, he had an ERA under one. Um, he went through a, a little bit of an injury problem where he uh, missed a start or two, but you know he had seventy strikeouts in about forty five innings and. You know, he, he was a dominant number one. Uh, Charlie Reeder's back, that, um, and Jack Watson is also back. They were um, probably, th you know, th three of our top five inning guys. We lost two guys that threw for us last year, but both of those guys had a lot of success last year, and, and we look forward to seeing them back out there again, and we expect big things from them. And, you know, and then kind of mix in guys like uh, Finn Johnson and Sven on here and um, – you know, who knows who else is going to give us innings, maybe Brant Stevens, Oliver Tepper. You know, we, we have a lot of guys that we can turn to. All right, Coach, I'll come back to you after I talk to the guys. Charlie, we'll start with you. Uh, for the folks at home, just go ahead and introduce yourself. Name, grade, and what positions you're going to play this year. All right, I'm Charlie Reeder. Um, I'm a senior, and uh, I'm going to play third pitcher and maybe some outfield. All right, so coming into this year, how excited are you? And, and what's it going to take for uh, you and your teammates to achieve their goals? I'm really excited, and I think uh, we're really well prepared. Uh, we've been working all preseason, and uh, I think the main the main thing is that we're very we're a very gritty team, and we're just ready for the season. As I mentioned with Coach, Chagrin Falls just always seems to be ready to play in the postseason. How important is it to you to kind of carry that on? You don't want that to, to go by the wayside on your watch. Yeah, we uh, we always talk about tradition, how every year we have the same goal to win the CVC, uh, to get to districts and then get as far as we can. And it's it's part of like CFT, like it's part of the tradition of our program. Looking at the CVC, the Chagrin Division, you guys play in, uh, it's pretty tough. How does that prepare you for a long postseason run? Because – Conference games, they're, they're tough. You're seeing some pretty good pitching, some pretty good hitting. How does that prepare the team for that for those postseason runs? 
Yeah, I think um, like the importance of those games and like how like even one loss can change our standings. Um, we just have to focus on getting rid of the little mistakes and not beating ourselves. What are your goals for this season? Um, definitely winning the CBC, um, 20 wins, and uh, definitely get as far as we can in the playoffs. Hopefully we get to regionals this year. Give me a couple players on the team that maybe nobody knows their name right now, but after a few games, everybody will know who's going to have a breakout year. Um, I definitely think Brant Stevens is up there and Henry Simperman, both lefty hitters who uh, they got a lot of time last year. And as Henry Simperman, a freshman and Brant was a sophomore last year, getting that one year of varsity experience is really going to help them explode this year. And I think they're going to have a great season. Outstanding. Good luck to you this season. Thank you. All right, well, on to you. Uh, same thing for the folks at home. Introduce yourself, name, grade, and position. Uh, my name is Will Graham. I'm a senior, and I uh, I pitch, and I play outfield. So, Will, coming in senior year, you've got to be excited about that. But at the same time, you know every time you go out there and play, it, it gets you closer to the end of your career. How are you dealing with those dueling emotions? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I mean, I'm extremely excited for this season, and – I, I had to make it. I made the decision not to play in college, which just I feel like that adds pressure onto this season because, like you said, it's it's my last, and um, I just hope to go out there and have a good year. Coach already propped you up there uh, for your pitching abilities. W what do you bring to the mound? What what pitches do you throw? Do you have a favorite? Is there a pitch you lock in on? Uh, you know, in those o, o two counts or one and two that type of thing. Yeah, I think my best pitch and probably my favorite pitch is the curveball. Um, I've been throwing it since I was pretty young. Haven't really changed it. I feel like I've kind of just got it down, and it seems like hitters really struggle with it. I think it looks really similar to the fastball, and it's just hard to tell a difference. So I love throwing that in those 0-2-1-2 counts. Yeah, obviously you're one of those number one, number two guys. Uh, a lot of a lot of burden on your shoulders to to carry the the team in some of those big games. How, how do you handle that pressure? Yeah, I mean, I like the pressure. I feel like it helps me almost just like really focus um, and just I kind of just ignore everything else. I don't really think about much else. I just it helps me stay focused and locked in on pitching. Who are your breakout players? Um, I think uh, Will Murray in the infield. I, he's a freshman this year. I think he could be really solid for us. He's got great hands. He's played a lot of baseball, you can tell. Um, and then Jack Watson, I think, from last year, he's improved a lot. He's gotten bigger. He's gotten stronger. And I think having that year under his belt this year, it'll, it'll just be all the better. Outstanding. Good luck to you this season. Thank you. All right, Sven, on to you. Same thing for the folks at home. Name, grade, and positions you'll play this year. Uh, my name is Sven Nielsen. I'm a senior, and I'll play first base and pitch as well. All right, so Sven, same thing. Coming in senior year, you've got to be excited about that, but, uh, you know, your, your career's coming to a close. How, how do you deal with those emotions? Yeah, I mean, it's sad. I've been playing all my life, and um, it's great to have a great group of guys to have my last season with. Um, so I'm dealing with them, but you know, we're excited to go. So I'm excited. You've been around the program for a few years. You're a senior now. You got uh, some senior buddies here on camera with you. But uh, how different is this team from the other teams that you've played on at Chagrin Falls? I mean, it's different. We're definitely uh, – we have a younger feel, I think. Um, I think we're all pretty close. There's not really uh, any sort of disconnect between the, the players. You know, the freshmen and the seniors are close. Uh, the sophomores and juniors are close and so on. Um, I think that that's kind of a, a difference between past teams where we're a really tight knit team. And uh, I think that that's something that we should be proud of. Um, but like last year, we had a great group of seniors. Um, I'm great friends with them. Um, but we just kind of want to do what they're doing and keep the team close together. So, yeah. From a player's perspective, what, what's the team strength this year? Um, I mean, I got to say defense. I think that we look good. Uh, last year, we had our struggles at the start and we had a lot, a lot of talent. Um, but this year, I think we're looking really good as well. And um, I think that the hitting is going to come along. It always does. Um, so I think our defense is definitely our strength and just our our, uh, our bonding and our kind of chemistry together. With Charlie, I talked a little bit about the legacy of Chagrin Falls and just the way the program has gone over the, the years. It's, it's one of the strongest programs in Northeast Ohio. How important is it to you to kind of add to that legacy? 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really important. You know, uh, Coach Sweeney, Coach Bacalar, all their other coaches do a great job. Um, you know, there's there's really nothing else that they can do for us. It's really all on us. Um, the tradition's important. We don't want to end it. We want to keep it going. Um, and I think that we do have a good chance of that. So it's important to us for sure. I talked, uh, I think, with Will about the CVC and just, you know, how competitive that conference is. But Coach also challenges you with some pretty tough non-conference games. Is that something you thrive on, just uh, knowing every time you go out there it's going to be a big game? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, we welcome the challenge. Um, I think that the challenge makes us better. Um, you know, it's like progressive overload when you're working out. you got to go harder and uh, stronger each time. So I think that, you know, if we play a better team, it just makes logical sense that we'll fare better against a, a little worse team. Um, so I think that that's good that they're doing that to us. Um, again, like we welcome it. Um, so it's good that they do that. All right. And give me your breakout players. I mean, I got Will Murray for sure. Uh, kid's a stud. Um, he's going to do great things for us, I think. Um, Finn Johnson behind the plate whenever uh, Jack Watson's out in the field. Uh, he does a great job as well. So Will Murray and uh, Finn Johnson for sure. All right. Good luck to you this year. Thank you. All right, Coach, back to you to wrap things up. Uh, you know, I always like to go back to the coaches after they get to hear what their players said about, you know, how the preseason's gone, that type of thing. Are, are you pleased with what they've said? I mean, are they buying into what you're selling? Yeah, I, I was going to text them afterwards and just say, hey, great job. You know, they they preach the same stuff that we preach. And, you know, I, I really do feel our players buy in to what we ask them to do. And, and I think that's, you know, part of the success is just we're all in this together. You know, we don't we don't see it as us versus them or, or, or us. You know, we, we talk to them all the time and try to get their input and their feelings. And, you know, they it, it's it's great to hear what they have to say. I asked them for some breakout players. Uh, who are who are some of the players that have stuck out to you in the preseason? Uh, I think <laughs> I think they've hit them. Uh, you know, all those guys that they keep talking about, you know, they've kind of they've kind of hit on them. I, I don't you know, I, th I think. You know, we have a lot of good players that have already, you know, been spoken for. And, and the ones that they've mentioned is, uh, you know, they certainly they certainly got it right. Outstanding. And last question for you is just uh, win, lose or draw this year. I mean, you can still have a successful season no matter what happens. How do you define success? I mean, for us, success is just, give, you know, going out there every day, being focused, being ready. Um, you know, I know. You know, Charlie mentioned CFT and we always, you know, we, we we're the Chagrin Falls Tigers, but we we call it character, focus and toughness. And, you know, I, I think when we have guys with great character who focus every day and show mental toughness every day, I mean, that's, you know, that's the success that we want to have. And, you know, hopefully that success results in wins. Um, you know, obviously that's what everybody kind of sees as the end result. But, you know, we we um, as a program. You know, you can't always be results oriented. Baseball is a funny game. I mean, the best team doesn't always win. And, you know, but, um, you know, if we can have guys have, you know, great character on our program, um, you know, we're doing something right. Outstanding. All right, Coach. Well, I appreciate you and the guys being on this afternoon. And uh, best of luck to you this season. All right. Thank you. We appreciate it.